Andrew Brega, and I'm, I'm the music director and pit conductor for the show. And um, <laughs> Zeke is playing Rufus, which is Paulette's dog. And uh, Fruitbet is playing Bruiser, which is Elle's dog. Zeke is a Doberman lab mix. He's about three and a half, or a little over three and a half years. He'll be four in April, April 20th. And he came from Fort Wayne, Indiana. So I drove out to Fort Wayne, Indiana because I found one of his um, litter mates on PetFinder.com. I was working at an emergency clinic here in Columbus. We got a call from Colony Cats. And she came in and she had two fractured back legs, um, severe abdominal bruising, a um, lot of road rash, and some other trauma that she suffered. And uh, we got very attached to her um, at the clinic, and I was taking care of her and kind of her foster mom. And we took her to OSU, got her legs repaired. She was in casts for like six to eight weeks after she had her surgery. And then I adopted her. Since, you know, since we work in the community and I live in the community, um, it's a really great way for us to get involved with the school and, um, I mean, it was a perfect, uh, perfect matchup. They needed a Chihuahua that was even tempered and didn't mind being around a bunch of kids, and she's really good at it. She's the nicest little Chihuahua, and like she, you can pass her around to anybody. She doesn't growl. She doesn't bite. She doesn't do anything. But she's very friendly, and which is incredible after everything that she's been yeah, through. She cool. met Elle, who is the. Um, the main character of the lead, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's Bruiser is her dog. Basically, she's going to be carried around in a purse for a lot of <laughs> scenes, which she's good at. She likes being in bags. And I carried her to the top of Mount Albert, which is a 14,000 foot mountain in Colorado. And she was in her little papoose the whole way. <laughs> the good thing is, I don't think the Neither dog needs to really do anything except just appear and look cute. Yeah, right. which pretty, they're both pretty good at, I think. <laughs> and the cast has also been prepped on, you know, the correct way to handle dogs. Because even, even trained dogs would, you know, could flip out on somebody if they felt overwhelmed. But he's been great with the students. I haven't seen any sign of that at all. He's practiced the routine of coming, you know, from my office, which is basically his kennel, and, you know, getting out on stage. Actually, April, our director, said it's more the, um, more the lighting they have to get used to than the audience, that they, they don't seem to react much to the noise, but the lighting can throw them off. So for that reason, we're going to put the lights on early in rehearsal, stage lighting. I feel so fortunate to have her. Um, it's funny, once you rescue an animal, I think that bond between the person that rescues them and the, the animal is just really strong, because I think the animal gets it, that they've been rescued. Um, yeah, <laughs> and they just, they're so resilient and so benevolent. Um, they're just incredible. Big deal. Just big time. It's kind of crazy to think that she was, like, sitting in a gutter, like, by the side of the road, left for nothing, and now she's, like, you know, I mean, so many animals are just, you know, they go through so much, and then they just come out, and they're still trusting of people after everything they've been through, and loving, and forgiving, and the whole nine yards. It's absolutely incredible. I, I, I'm a big believer, and I think all animals in general are a lot smarter, yeah. and know a lot more about the world that we give them credit for. They do.